Professor Clements with you as we consider optics related to the eye. Someone who has a vision uh, difficulty, this person cannot see objects clearly if they are more than 24 centimeters from the eye and no closer than 14 centimeters. So is this person nearsighted or farsighted? They can't see mountains. They are nearsighted. This distance is close to the eye. 24 centimeters being the limit. So what lens power do we have to provide to this person in glasses, not uh, contact lens? Um, this is related, you know, chapter 26 of OpenStax College Physics. Uh, the lenses are going to be two centimeters away from the cornea, and we want this person to see a mountain clearly. How would we calculate the power of these lenses? Well, the mountain here is, of course, very far away. So we can take the object distance to be an extremely large number, infinite. And if we work through our uh, equation here, the 1 over DO plus 1 over DI equals 1 over F. So we'd have 1 over infinity plus, well, what should we use for the image distance? This person can see something that's 24 centimeters away from the eye. That means it's going to be 22 centimeters away from the lens. So back this way, 24 centimeters is a distance to the eye. We use up 2 centimeters from the cornea to the lens. So our DI distance is going to be 22 centimeters. And the image is to the left of the glasses, the lens, so by convention that becomes a negative. And then 1 over f, uh, 1 divided by infinity is 0. So 1 over minus 22 has to equal 1 over f. So f is minus 22 centimeters. And in calculating the power, the power is 1 over f, but f has to be in meters. So this would be 1 over minus 0.22 and we'd come up with minus 4.55 diopters. This is a negative lens, a minus focal length. So we need a negative lens to help this person uh, see the mountain clearly. The problem was that the mountain was uh, becoming focused too early. So we need some diverging power out in front of the eye to move the mountain <coughs> to be in focus on the retina. Okay, continuing. Um, suppose this same person has some close-up work to do, and we want to provide a lens that, uh, uh, again, would be two centimeters away from the cornea, and we want to see an object nine centimeters from the eye very clearly. What do we provide? Well, again, this 9 centimeter distance is from our uh, object to the eye. We use up 2 centimeters on uh, the distance of the lens to the eye. So we have 7 centimeters for the object distance that's measured from the lens. So DO is 7 centimeters. This is a different focal length. Uh, or imaging something close, a different focal length required here. Um, the person can see 14 centimeters, object 14 centimeters from the eye. So that's where we need to put the image. And the image then would be back here. And that needs to be 14 centimeters from the eye. So the image distance is minus 12 centimeters. 14 centimeters, then minus the 2 centimeters from the cornea to the, the lens. The image is on the left side of the lens, so by convention that's a negative 12. So doing our calculation here, 1 over DO plus 1 over DI equals 1 over F. You should pause and uh, do this calculation. I came up with 16.8 centimeters for the focal length. The power would be 1 over 0.168 meters, and that power is 5.95 diopters. That's not the focal length, that's the power, 5.95 diopters. 
Our last part here, a person, this is a different person, a uh, person is farsighted and the object has to be at least 150 centimeters away to be seen clearly. Again, we're going to put a lens two centimeters from the eye and we want to read something 25 centimeters from the eye. So our object here, a book, 25 centimeters from the eye. Of course, that's going to be 23 centimeters as an object distance and 150 centimeters from the eye the image distance is going to be minus 148 centimeters 150 minus the 2 centimeter distance here negative because the image is on the left of the, uh, the lens by convention that's a negative number so 1 over the object distance plus 1 over the image distance equals 1 over the focal length Again, you should pause and work this out. I came up with a focal length of 27.2 centimeters. Power is 1 over focal length in meters. So 1 over 0.272. And I came up with 3.7 diopters. These are just uh, sample problems. There's really more to it. Go to optometry school if you want to know all the details. But this is a rough uh, estimate of what would be required to provide good vision to these people that uh, have these vision difficulties. And in this last case, we're a, near, a far-sighted person. We have to push the image of the object back away from the eye, 150 centimeters from the eye. Uh, so we know the object distance where the book is really going to be held from the lens. We know the image distance from the lens. We calculate the focal length of the lens and then calculate the power. Keep practicing and ask your instructor questions. This is Professor Clements signing off.